Hi guys, it's Kathy. Welcome back. Uh, today I'm working on a uh, resurfaced canvas that didn't work out uh, and I've, I've sanded it. I'm going to pour over, I'm going to do a straight pour and I am using white. It's uh, Artist Loft white mixed with Amsterdam titanium white. Uh, it's mixed with, all of these today are mixed with, well, Floetrol and Liquitex gloss pouring medium. Uh, some of them have a little bit of Krista's mix in it as well. So anyway, I will have the description in the, des in, uh, the description of these uh, in the box below. This is the DecoArt 24K Gold. And this is Golden's Copper. This is Amsterdam Prussian Blue Thalo. It's a little bit transparent. These are mixed very thick in order to hopefully get, keep some good lines in the straight pour, some defi definition of the lines. This is the Amsterdam Scion Blue. It's really pretty and bright. And this is Golden's Turquoise. Okay, so I will be back in a minute and we'll start pouring. All right, so we're gonna start layering with first the white. And then the gold. And some copper. That one's really thick. Uh, Prussian blue. more gold and white and cyan blue Gold. We have a lot of metallics in this, and the copper, I'm going to do a little white and then the turquoise, I think I've got more than enough paint there, I'm going to add a little bit more Prussian blue, just kind of layer over the top. Okay. Okay. Wish me luck. So I'm just pouring very slowly. And it's just a straight pour, so I'm not going in a circular motion at all. Straight pour comes out kind of ribbon-like. And you can accentuate it more by moving your hand up and down like that, if you want. This is a wandering straight pour. Oh, it looks really pretty so far. It's making all these little, they call fingerlings from the, from the straight pour. 
And hopefully once it's all tilted out, those designs will look really cool. That's the plan. Whether it works or not is a whole other ball game. We'll see. I really just mixed these, so I'm going to torch this first to get any air bubbles out. Okay. And I think I might need a flow extender around here. So I have some leftover um, black mixed with Prussian blue. It's pretty thin. It's not thick like the rest of this is, but flow extender should be a little thinner at any rate because its purpose is not to look pretty because you're going to flow it right off the edge of the canvas. It's just to give your composition uh, paint to flow off of so it uh, will go over to the edge. fingers here and spread that across the edges of the canvas so it'll flow over there. Make sure it's covering the sides as well. It's kind of pretty. I like that. Okay. Now let's get to tilting. You can see a little cell action coming up already from the, the copper and the gold. Uh, they tend to create some cells. I'm just going very slowly uh, and from corner to corner and then back to center. So I want to keep that composition uh, intact as much as I can. I don't want it blending and stretching too much. So it's, it's kind of slow and boring, but and go with the weight of the paint. You can also do just a little back and forth, like, like walking it across from one corner to the next corner. And you're still keeping your composition a little more intact. It is going to stretch out one way or the other, no matter what you do, but that's okay. That It's kind of nice to bring all those... Uh, designs out once you stretch it out. That's really pretty. I'm just slowly headed over towards one corner. You can see the weight of the paint is on this side, so that's where I'm going to go first. But I'm just going back and forth. I'm just going to go over that corner and bring it back. And I see a, a goober right smack dab in the middle here. A piece of dried paint or Floetrol or something. Okay, I'm going to check to see if I have any more of those. 
Yep, there's another one right here. Okay, back to tilting. So I'm getting the weight of the canvas towards the center now, and I want to bring it over to this other corner. So I have to get the weight of the paint going that direction. Here it goes. I'm really liking the colors here, that Prussian phthalo blue against that copper and gold. It's just gorgeous. Okay, I'm going to be off the corner here now. Back up. It looks like a tornado in the middle. Right now I'm just looking for more goobers. <laughs> uh, it's kind of hard to tell. Sometimes you can't notice them until you stretch the paint out a little more. those things. <laughs> yeah, I try to make sure that the flow troll is strained before we mix it with anything. And same with the other paints, but sometimes you can still get those little globs of paint or glue in there. All right, so now I like what I'm seeing. Here it is right in front of me. Uh, let's see another goober here. Okay. I'm just deciding which, I like everything. I'm trying to decide which part I want to tilt off. Um, I'm loving this area in here, those little fingerlings that have little cells in the middle of them. And then there's a lot of gold and copper cells through here. It almost looks like, like crocodile skin. So I think, I think I'm going to try tilting off this direction. Let's see if we can get the weight of the paint over there. It doesn't really want to go. It wants to go this way. All right. Weight of the paint going this way. That's okay, too. There's another goober over there. Looks like it's going to fall off the edge anyway. I don't think I need negative space on those corners. I'd like to get that off. Uh, I won't, it wouldn't matter to me if it stays there, but. It's starting to open up nicely. This thing's kind of all puddling down here because the weight of the paint wants to go there, but I'd like to open this part up. Uh, I don't mind those either though. It's, there's a lot of cool things going on in here. It's kind of hard to decide which way to go. Hmm. 
So I'm just looking at it to decide what to do with it. This kind of looks like a waterfall coming down. <laughs> um, and there's a little dragon face in here. I think I'm going to pour it off this direction. fingerlings and all those designs from the straight pour it's opened up. That looks like a paint is moving a lot slower now. I don't think there's too much more to do. I'm really liking this. I have my neighbor and friend Chris here today. What do you think, Chris? I think it's beautiful. You do? Okay. Yeah, I do like it. I am teaching her some fluid art through my own mistakes. <laughs> no, 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 no. Okay, let's take a look at that. I am loving this thalo blue and this copper and gold together. It's, I don't know, that's, this, they look like boulders, like in the Grand Canyon or something. And all these stretched out fingerlings look really nice. Loving this part. It's kind of like a river running through some boulders. Don't you think? Mm -hmm. I kind of like that. All right, let's see how the paint's moving. It's not moving very much, so I think we're good. All right, so I'm gonna check for any more goobers. And uh, let's see if I can see any. I think I got all those out. Um, and a lot of times I'll look and I'll, like on a Dutch pour, I'll want to sometimes enhance it a bit before it dries with a, a skewer or a uh, chopstick or a palette knife. But with a pour like this, I want to keep all these shapes together. I don't really want to fiddle with it too much. I don't really see anything that needs to be fiddled with. I mean, I suppose I could, but I think it looks pretty good the way it is, so. All right, let me dry my hands off and I'll bring you down for a close-up. Okay, here it is wet. I'm really happy with this. I love the colors. You never know what you're going to get, the way it stretches out, which is kind of the beauty of fluid art. Always get surprises. Anyway, of course, you can see a lot of the glimmer from the gold and the copper. 
in the blues against it just really make it pop because they are opposite on the color wheel and as long as you can get them where they don't blend and mix to form mud then they, they just pop against each other there's that blue area it didn't want to stretch out as much so i must have had a thicker consistency to those blue paints i love this part it looks like a little peacock feathers um but they all stretched out okay anyway you can see the glimmer that the gold is putting in there there's my little negative dark corner Anyway, uh, it poured out pretty well. I'm happy with that. And it stretched out well, even though I was a little concerned with the way it was going. It turned out okay. And look at it, it looks like somebody drew outlines on it. That's interesting. Anyway, so that's that. I will come back in a minute and show you the dry results. Thanks for joining okay, me. Okay, here are the dry results on a very wet day here in Southern California. So kind of in between rain showers at the moment. <clears throat> anyway, here this is. It is um, varnished as well, and the colors just popped once they varnished it. And all the metallics came out. I just love it. I love all the fingerlings and the movement. How all the colors against each other, that blue against the copper. And I like all these lighter colors from the white and the gold. And there's my little negative corner, which I like. It brings a lot of highlight to it. And here's that blue area that didn't really want to move very much. That's okay, it turned out really nice. Come up this side. I think there's a couple of orientations that would look good with it. Very versatile that way. Anyway, there you have it. Thank you for joining me. You take care, be well, and be happy. And I will see you next time. Bye-bye.